Hi, everyone. This is Mike Talks Cars podcast. Today, Ford invests in jobs, Buick goes wild, and don't be a cherry picker. In industry news, Ford Motor Company is spending $3.7 billion to bring 6,200 new union jobs to plants in three U.S. states. Michigan will receive the majority of the investment and 3,200 new jobs. Ohio will gain 1,800 jobs, and the balance will come in Missouri. Ford's expansion in these plants will support its growth targets for electric vehicles as well as commercial vehicles, which is a major source of revenue for the company. This announcement comes at the same time as Elon Musk's latest message to Tesla executives calling for a 10% reduction in its workforce. Ford continues to be optimistic about the economy and is continuing its investment in North America. In new vehicle news, Buick has introduced its next offering into the EV market with an all-new design language and even a new logo. Buick rolled out the Wildcat concept vehicle, a 2 plus 2 coupe model with a highly stylized body. The stance is wide and low with a swept roof line and sculpted lighting systems. The interior is futuristic with flowing lines and a center console that extends all the way to the rear seats. Camera-based rear-view mirrors are viewed with screens mounted in the door panels. Tech is integrated and tasteful. Along with the Wildcat announcement, Buick has outlined a plan to bring its first all-electric vehicle to North America in 2024 and that they will build only EVs by the end of the decade. Buick is also bringing back the Electra name, which seems very appropriate for a brand that's transitioning to pure electric vehicles. Buick is bringing its new logo, new design language, and the Electra name to make Buick a major player in the entry luxury market. Now for some musings with the trainer. Life on commission is something that most people don't understand. It can be a shock to someone who works on salary to learn that a sales consultant's pay has nothing to do with how long they work or how hard they work. They can't understand that there is no pay unless someone buys something. It's possible to put in hours of work and effort on behalf of a customer only to have them walk over to another dealership and buy from someone else. Ouch. No paycheck for you. Those of us who have lived on commission either become very good at handling that fact, or we just leave the business for a job with steady wages. The upside is that working hard for our customers and developing good working relationships with them can yield excellent income, not to mention a sincere satisfaction from being great at our job. Some salespeople think that they can spot the difference between a buyer and a non-buyer in the first few minutes. We call these guys the cherry pickers. They think they have an edge. They don't. The fact is that every customer is a buyer. We just don't always have what they're looking for. And remember, sometimes what they're looking for is the right salesperson. Timing is also important. For me personally, the longest customer interaction from first meeting to delivery was almost a year. If we treat every customer as a valued client, where we build and maintain a business relationship with them, the customer will choose to stick around and buy from you more often than they won't. Cherry pickers don't last in this business, or at least they move around an awful lot. Salespeople that value their customers and prove that to their customers every day do. This is Mike Little reminding you that, hey, selling is fun. Go have a great day.